Hey family, so if you want to see how I achieve this beautiful look with a uh, red lip, smoky eye, and a wing, stepping out of my comfort zone for a little bit, continue to watch and get slayed. Hey family, so it's me Fallon. I'm here to do a get ready with me. We're going to chit chat a little bit. Um, I really want to focus today on just like kind of trying something new and getting out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to do like a red lip. Um, I'm a try to execute a wing i've been um working on my wings because as simple as a wing look it really isn't simple to do so we're gonna have a wing maybe like a smoky eye i want to do with a red lip um maybe a wing we're gonna see how this works and we're gonna keep it raw we're gonna keep it raw so if it don't look good it don't look good if it do look good it look good we're gonna keep it raw i'm gonna do my hair um and i just want to chit chat with you and we're gonna you know do makeup and just have some girl time so if you are excited about this uh tutorial slash experiment <laughs> keep watching now disclaimer I'm not a makeup professional artist, but I do be looking snatched, okay? I do know how to look good. So, if you um, want to watch and cont um, continue to see how I um, beat my face and how I look good, continue to watch. But when I'm saying experimenting and things like that, it just means that I'm stepping out of my, um, my comfort zone a little bit and just trying something um, new. So, continue watching. Love you guys. I already prepped my face. I'm sorry, I'm looking up at top at the screen where I should be looking at the bottom. I already prepped my face. If you do see me looking down, it's just because I'm looking down at my mirror. Um, so my face is already prepped, to be honest. Um, I do have uh, decent skin for the most part for pushing 40. So um, I just really clean my face and use Vaseline. I don't really do too much of the primers and stuff like that because I do have dry skin. And for me, the Vaseline works and it sticks to the makeup really good. I try to use... Um, High and lows when it's considering makeup. I just I do try to use good makeup, but again, that's how I prep my face. So I already washed and prepped my face, moisturized it. So um, now we're just gonna get into everything. So I am using NARS. I hope I brought the right one down. Um, because this one looked like it might be running empty. So I hope we have enough. But I do use NARS concealer. This is Kadaz, the color Kadaz. Um, NARS is really my favorite. I love um NARS products. Uh, it just really, really uh, does some wonders on my face, guys. So let's chit chat a little bit. I kind of wanted to touch base on, to be honest, I hope I bought all of my um, right um, brushes too. And I just use brushes from Amazon. Just cute little brushes from Amazon. Nothing spectacular. Um, I do kind of want to talk about Beyonce and Church Girl. Y'all got, uh, many of you know um, that are OGs here that I am a pastor of a Bible-based internet church. We are called Pray to Slay Ministries. If you are looking for a home-based church, you can find us here on YouTube at Pray to Slay Ministries. I will have the link in the description. Um, but I want to kind of talk based about um, the hoopla that's going on about Beyonce, uh, Church Girl. A lot of people are in a bag about it, especially the church community. And um, let's just chit chat about it a little bit. Now, to be honest, blending is very important, guys. So just make sure y'all blend, blend, blend. To be honest, um, I think the church community, my community, okay, I am a Christian non dominational. I think we got bigger fish to fry. Can I just be really real? Don't get me wrong, Beyonce um, has done some things a little bit to make me question her walk with God because I'm a day one fan. Let me just get that out of there. Um, from the beginning, I'm talking about 1999. I'm 38 years old, okay? I'm, no, I'm 39. I'm bugging. I'm 39 years old. I almost forgot y'all. I'm 39 years old. So I've been a Beyonce fan. Uh -huh. Bills, 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 Destiny Child. I've been a Beyonce fan since the 90s. So I know B. Like, I used to try to look like B. Um, I used to try to have my um wigs and weaves and all that okay like i will watch her for hours god bless his soul um my husband had passed away for many of you who don't know it's been 11 years now but my husband he used to come home and be like you still watching beyonce you still watching her performance and stuff like that so when i tell you that i am a beyonce stan okay and I will say that there's some things that it makes me question, you know, with her walk with God. Because Beyonce, since the beginning, you can watch footage when Beyonce was like, um, 
eight years old talking about faith and you got to believe in yourself you got to believe in god you know matthew and tina kept them in the church they are church girls okay i'm being real they are church girls all right we know sometimes with the industry you know you see a lot and things can change you but for the most part beyonce and them did love jesus i'm talking about jesus lovers so i do know that much um but like i said there's some things that you know i'll be like mm, beyonce i don't know girl and I have made some statements even on the pulpit preaching that I have to really apologize for because even though God, um, you know, allows us to um, teach things to convict the spirit, who am I to judge and put my mouth on a person? I don't believe that we should always be putting our mouth on a person and calling them out and things of that nature. Yes, I believe in casting out demons. I don't play that. I am a demon bully. But for the most part, you know, using my pulpit to do that when I can use the pulpit and teach you about demons, teach you about spiritual warfare teach you about how to identify things so you can see things for yourself you understand what i'm saying that's why i think we need to head out for the church i just right here just covering my scar a little bit i did have a birthmark on my face and um i had got it removed being a little vain i got it removed um I believe that we should be teaching people what to identify on their own you know what i'm saying so for the most part they can make their own choices like um you know calling people loud and all that i don't know i just i'm not with it so that's my take on you know the church feeling a certain way using the opportunity really to clout chase can i just be real y'all already know i give it raw real honest i just think people are clout chasing i think that it's a name that you can use to get views and i think people are clout chasing and you know because there's other vulgar songs out and can we be real i know coming up i had got saved at 13 coming up in the church can I be all the way real? People going to be mad that I'm saying this, but it's okay because this is my personal time, my personal channel. I do represent Pray to Slay Ministries, but I'm going to always be me. And most of the most women that I ever seen that was provocative, vulgar, um, promiscuous was in the church. You know, it was church girls. So when she's saying, I, 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 I didn't hear it in this whole entirety, but I think something about like dropping likes, hottie and all that thotty. Don't act like y'all church girls ain't thotty. Like, stop. Don't act like it's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this pulpit that needs to be addressed. And I just feel like, can we address the things that we need to address in the church first? Like, we trying to make a name and try to come for the world. Let's clean up church first. Let's clean up all of these things that's going on in the church before you trying to come at people. And you got people sitting up there that ain't living right, that ain't doing right, that's not honoring the kingdom. And you mad about somebody who's doing secular music? Like, make it make sense. If you teach about demonic warfare like I do, because I teach media effective teachings, if you teach about demons, witches, sorcery, if you teach about all these things in a proper fashion, then a person can look at any singer in the world and be like, that's not right. They're moving in a spirit that I don't want to partake in. So instead of us just continuously trying to call out people in their name, and listen, I had to, I was convicted. I had to repent because I have done it too. Let's really teach the entirety of things so people can make their own decisions. That's what I think because even the word of God puts us in a position to make our own decisions. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Free will and all that. God's not making us do anything. He gave us a Bible and gave us some instructions and he said there's a permissible will and then there's my will. Now, I pray that we all be in his will. Nobody wants to continue being a permissible will. No, you want to be in the will of God. Okay, guys, so that's pretty good. I got it all, um, what you call it? It looks a little lighter in camera, but it's going to still all come together on the camera. But um, for the most part, it's all blended in. Yeah, so that's my take on that. Like, um, leave homegirl alone and just teach the word of God. And let people, if you teach it right, they'll make a decision and they'll be like, hold on, I don't think this music sounds good or or this music is this and that. You you get what I'm saying? That's what I, that's what I feel. I feel like, let's clean up house first, okay? I feel like we had a whole bishop, I know some of you have seen it, that um, many think, hold on guys, I'm just going to focus a little bit because I'm doing my eyebrows now. Now, for my eyebrows, this is a pencil that I got from Amazon. This is the NK Makeup Auto Liner, and I use the color AA02. Um, some say that the bishop staged his own robbery on the um, air. He was online. 
he was online preaching and um some guys came in and robbed him and his wife of four hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry but then it kind of keeps going up because now they're saying a million they are from brooklyn where i'm from i know of them um don't know them it's a difference but um i will say there's a lot i can say about that okay i'm gonna just keep it all the way real there's a lot i can say about that but I will say, why don't I see a lot of leaders addressing, you know, this situation that you have this flashy pastor and this storefront church and all of these other things. Maybe these should be things that the church should be addressing because it's in the community and fixing that. And then maybe if you're addressing stuff like that, then people wouldn't be so hard on you if you're coming down on, you know, Beyonce or whatever. But, like, that's something that should be addressed, you know? Because when I look at the comments, when I look at the comments about that, don't worry guys, it's going to all come together. Um, when I look at the comments, you know, people are saying a lot of stuff and they're like, oh, um, this is why I don't be wanting to go to church, um, tithes and offerings and all this other stuff. First of all, let me just school you. Tithes offering this for you the bible teaches us that when you when you sow properly and things of like that it keeps the devourer away from devouring your funds when you're paying money and you're doing it in, 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 um, unto god for a supernatural release it's it's a personal thing so when you tithing and all that don't be focusing on no pastors and stuff like that and i'm not just saying that because i'm a pastor i'm being real it's biblical it's a relationship because you got these catholic priests doing god knows what and covering up for all those children that have been molested and they're taking the funds of them churches and covering up and nobody wants to talk about that they always want to do this when it got to do with um the christian walk okay so i will say that much but um and this is the pro concealer i love the pro concealer guys this is the pro concealer um what color is this this is the color foreign i love this just to put it under my eyes to clean it up my um when I do my eyebrows when you when you put concealer on your eyebrows after you add the um, liner to it it cleans it up and it gives it a nice sleek clean look that makes it look like you just got your eyebrows done so if you ever want to look if you ever like just want a quick look to make it look like you got your eyebrows done fill them in and then use concealer now i wanted i hope you noticed that when i filled in my eyebrows guys that i was like very light you know i just made, really wanted to make it look um natural so when i fill my eyebrows in i'm just very light on the hand then it's just this a little brush little flat brush just to uh make it look good to clean it up and then you always i i, I like to put my eyebrows like this and just get under it to make everything look good and then I just take this and I use this for like a coat for my eyebrows I mean for my eyeshadow excuse me um but yeah I feel like um why wasn't that like a big talk in the church the way it should have been you know now that was talked amongst like um you know, the secular world, a lot of worldly people was talking about it because they was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know, what's going on in this church and da 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 But, um, I didn't see no, I didn't see no pastors coming out about that. I didn't see no bishops coming out about that, reprimanding, making big noise about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to, people want to pick and choose that what they want to complain about. Hold on, guys. I just got to, I always do this. I just take a mirror and just. Now, when it comes to eyebrows, for me, I like to make sure, like, they're, they don't have to be twins, but they should at least be sisters. Now, when it comes to eyebrows, you just want them to look like sisters. They don't have to pretty much look like twins, but you just want to feel comfortable with them and just be like, okay, it looks good. Because if you start messing with it too much and focusing on it too much, then after a while, you're not going to like them. Like I'm about to do right now. You know what I mean? I just wanted to color that in a little bit. That's good. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. So now we're gonna go with concealer. Um, medium honey and tart the tart shape. I use two concealers. I'm gonna show you. This is the medium honey. So yeah, you know, um, a lot of people were saying, you know, why is this flashy pasta that has this big mansion? And flashy and flashing or his big closets that looks like um, high-end boutiques and everything and he's in this rinky dink church they called it now disclaimer I do give out we give out free Bibles I do a lot of stuff that people don't know about right so with ties and offering um, I do run our internet church with it that means that like our internet all of the lights and everything everything to keep things going so I could come forward we do use that and we do a lot of help you know behind the scenes um, we give out free Bibles we help families who are in need you know there's a lot that we do um, so I'm who's to say we don't know what he does but if you have Okay, it's like this. If I was to have a church, right? A building, because my church is um, internet Bible based. If I was to have a building and I was this flashy preacher, I have the Roy's voice, you know, my wife is in a Bentley I'm, and I'm using, I don't wet my, um, most people, some people wet this. I don't wet mine. I like to use it damp, but, um, I'm a blended in. Tart is uh, kind of thick. So the tart, I use, um, a blending, um, sponge instead of a brush. Cause I like to use brushes. I do use both, but with the tart, it's kind of thick. So you can get away with using the, um, the sponge and you know you are this big pastor on the internet you got a million followers on the internet and um you know you got this lavish life and you have a church building your church building should represent this your lifestyle i'm not bashing nobody i'm just saying because i do believe when it comes to church we need to be holding each other with um responsible like how they're trying to do beyonce is the way the church needs to do the church beyonce is a secular singer she never says she's a gospel artist and all this other stuff but you have people in the church that's running around mocking around uh, making a, a, a foolery look at how we had uh pastor john gray had all these allegations of infidelity you understand what i'm saying and you didn't really see church leaders out carrying on the way they should be listen i'm not trying to be funny i'm just being honest you understand what i'm saying i'm just being honest and some might say and i say that his church should have represented the way he says he live it's like if i'm it's like because i know i'm gonna become a millionaire when i become a millionaire because i have a lot of businesses i do right and side hustlers i'm a, a side hustler like i get i work so i don't have to depend on ties and orphan all the time right so if when i become a millionaire and i have all of this money and you know we're going global we gave books to africa people watch us from all over the world right people watch pray to slave ministries from all over the world and i become a multi-millionaire and i'm running the church even though it's an internet church after a while the effects should be looking better right um i should have engineers paying engineers to bring forth things to make it look of high quality right like right now we have a nice streaming setup right but i would have a nice studio vibe like i will put money into the church too because the church is representing me and it's representing the fruit of abundance I don't believe that you should be in a million dollar house and in a Roy's Royce and you know doing all these things and your church looks a mess with step repeats and in a in a hood in the heart of the hood and a little rinky dinks event center. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. I'm sorry, you can't do that. So with concealer, you just want to blend, right? You just want to blend, 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 blend. I don't know. Okay, it does look good. Because I'm about to say, I feel like it looks a little lighter on the screen. Maybe I should check my um, adjustings. I hope so. I hope so. But you just want to blend, okay? So with your Castella, you just blend, blend, blend. But I hope you will want your church to look how you look. Because that's the issue. That's the issue. And I think that's what people are are saying. I think people are saying, like, you know, you are this church, this this big this bishop to 
excuse me, to all of the, these celebrities he says he saved and all of these things and you this and you that. So they expect you to have a church that represents who you are. So now again, I'm for the uh, concealer. I'm using NARS in the color medium one custard. So I just take that and go under a little bit because I like a bright eye on my makeup. I do like a bright eye and trust the process guys. It's going to all come together. It's going to all come together. So, um, you know, I just feel like. I just feel like as a pastor, I should we should be able to tell one another and hold each other to a standard. And that's just the truth. You trying to hold the world into a standard that is biblical and the world isn't biblical. They they're not obligated to follow our guidelines. We're supposed we're trying to go to them. We're trying to go to the world to um get them to come on our side if that makes sense if that makes sense we're trying to make them come to our side so how are you more mad at beyonce and church girl and y'all really shouldn't be listening to that song anyway if you want to keep it real if you feel a certain way why is it even why you even listen to it to know the lyrics okay church people Cause I like to say I'm a kingdom builder. You know why? Cause even as a pastor, church people do too much sometimes. I gotta be honest. They do too much sometimes. Even with me, they was giving me a lot of issues because you know, God caught me up to the internet, which makes sense now because everybody's on the internet all the time and people didn't understand why, what he was doing and how he was doing. And that's another thing. Don't worry about what people think. When God calls you to something, when God calls you to something, it's between you and him. Don't don't try to convince people along the way. If God gives you a word on what to do, don't try to convince people along the way. Um, you know, convince them for something that he told you to do. Okay? That is just the God honest truth. He told you, not them. He told you. So, you know, I just feel like the church needs to get its act together. We need to get it together. I feel like we got bigger fish to fry. I like to hit under my eye. Because for me, under my eye creases a lot. Um, you know, I'm getting a little older. I gotta. I really do need to work on an eye cream um, routine at night for my eyes. Just to keep them looking youthful. Because sometimes, baby, the eyes say 39, baby. The outfits be saying young and hip. And the makeup be beat. But sometimes, them eyes, baby. Them eyes be saying 39. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So you just want to be like, you know, you want to be mindful. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to come all hard and, you know, in the church because, like I said, I am a pastor and um, I preach the gospel, the good news. But I, I do want to say, you know, y'all got bigger fish to fry. Let's start attacking the stuff that's going on in this, these freaking churches so people can want to come to Jesus. People don't even really want to come to Jesus because they feel like we do a whole bunch of foolery. How about that? This is a black owned, I believe, black radiance. I love this palette, guys. I use the light to medium. And when I say I use it, look at that, baby. I use it, okay? Yeah, so it's like, worry about that. Like, worry about, oh, I didn't bring that, it's okay. So I always take a little, oh, guys. I, got here. I take um, the contour color, the little darker color, and I always get the forehead. Because you want to make it come together because you want to add it all of the contour, I mean the um, highlight. And then I just come down. Cause now you're starting to put dimensions to your face, putting a little color to it. And just work your way up. And then I also come right here and tip the sides. So I've been doing this natural thing guys. I used to love me some wigs. I told y'all 
I thought I was Beyonce child, so I used to stay with the little curly blonde wig. Stop playing. That's my thing. That was my gym. But now I've just been really wanting to focus on getting my hair as long as I can. It's really growing. It's like in the middle, coming towards um, the beginning of my back, coming into the middle of my back now. So it's growing. Sis is getting some hang time. Hey, 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 hey. But, um, I'm gonna just go like that just to make it. It is growing and everything. But, um, I'm really loving my natural look, you know? And it brings something different because everybody, everybody and their mama, you know, got frontals on. And I started getting tired of frontals because let me tell you something about them frontals. You, them frontals be doing too much sometimes. You got to always make sure it's down. And sometimes I feel like people looking at you because it look like you got a little band-aid on your head. You know that band-aid fluorescent look? I just got tired of it. I just was over it. So, um, I, I've been, um, going hard on a natural. I go to the Dominican spot and I let them blow my hair out. I get a blowout and then I let them flat iron. So it kind of looks like, um. It kind of looks like, uh, what you call that, guys? Um, what they call that? A silk press. A silk press. So now, I'm sorry, guys. Morphe. I'm taking the Morphe. This is the palette. Uh, that Rich is cool. This palette is called That Rich. I love this palette. Um, it has some beautiful colors to contour with and blushes. As you can see, I use that out, too. So now I'm just going a little darker coming up just a little bit more you always got to trust the process because sometimes things be looking crazy but when you trust the process you be like oh girl yes girl girl yes girl uh, 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 uh. see what i'm saying it's coming together she's coming together yes she is <laughs> i played all day guys yes she is yeah so um that's my take like we need to be talking about stuff like that. Like, hold on guys, I'm dropping stuff. How the heck, how the heck you got this big old church? I mean, this big old lifestyle. So then I just take a little dark part of it that I used um, to bring dimension to my face and I just do it on my nose. That's how you get that contour look on your nose. So once you highlight your nose, you want to take um, a nice bronzer color and just come down. I usually come down like from my um, eyebrows and just work myself down. And with makeup, it's all about just blending it in, making it look nice and blended. Because the more you blend stuff, the more it comes together. So as you're looking now, you see how it looks like it gave my nose that snatch. Like I got my nose done. That's what couture really does. It makes you look like you got your nose done, honey. You just tap it on the brush and you just come down. And then I like to do it like that. Using Anastasia. This is a soft glam palette. So it has the colors in here for me to do the... Um, smoky eye look. I always blow. So I, I always start with the outer part of my eye and then come in. And this is just going to be like a base for the smoky eye and then I just cover the whole eye. And then I just blend it in. With your eyeshadow is all about blending in. I'm just going to come up a little bit. So I can make a little shadow because I am going to put black over that. I'm using the color Sienna in that. I don't know why we always we are make these looks, but it works, I feel like. And with makeup, it's just practice. It's no way because you can watch me. And my face will all come out beautiful. And then you'll watch somebody else and they have a different technique. You just kind of got to go with your own technique with makeup. Because everybody, I have watched, that's how I learned how to do my face is like by watching people. And I can honestly say everybody has like their own technique to things. So you just kind of like 
just want to do what's best for you. Um, you know, like what makes you look good. You know. I'm gonna lighten it up just a little bit. Clean it up. Yeah. So um, that's my opinion on that. That um, I wasn't really feeling the fact that um, you know, this pasta. This is a brush, it's a brand new one that I got from Amazon. That this pastor is parading and all this stuff on social media. And then you, you look at this church and you're like, baby, come on. This is why they be laughing at us. Let's start addressing that. Okay, let's stop doing other stuff and worrying about these celebrities. And let's make a voice and teach people the right way so people can make their own decisions. And let's stop making a foolery of the church. That's what we can do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I'm using Nayor. Nayor, it looks like a black. And most of the now, I'm not going to be. I'm, this is the way I would usually go with my, my face look. A nice little brown on the top part. And then I would continue, you know, to come with everything. But like I said, I'm going to try to get out of my comfort zone a little bit for the sake of this video. So I am going to do a smoky eye. And I'm just taking that black. And I'm just coming over the brown that I used as a base. And I'm like patting it in. Because with the black, it's so powerful that all you can do is just pop it on and then you just pat it in. And then you just like blend. So now with the smoky eye, that's how you make a good smoky eye. It is a blending. You see how I'm blending? Oh, that looks good. And you just blend. And blend. Okay, girl. Then we're just gonna apply a little bit more. Because I want it to look nice and smuggy. Smokey, remember Smokey from Friday, y'all? Smokey, put a little bit on the under eye. Cause you wanna use a mirror for the wing. So now for the wing, I like to go in between the bottom of the eye I learned by watching other people. So you line up the bottom of your eye and you just come up with the, with the pencil first, right? See that? And we're just gonna do both sides. So they can look even. And then what you do is you can put a little dot where you wanna start. So say like. Right here is where I wanna bring it together. So I would just come. And then you can just come the opposite way to make it thicker. And the same thing, you see I put the dot here and I'll just come down. and everything else we have to finish up the face part so i use laura mercier this is the translucent honey color i use this as to brighten up under my eye i like a bright eye and also to set my makeup i like to set my under eye because i told you sometimes it creases and everything and i use a powder brush for that that i got from amazon i do my nose make sure that controller is set And it, it, it can uh, make sure you clean under the wing. 
I'm very proud of my wing. I should save myself. I am very proud of my wing. And then I just bake it a little bit. I bake a little bit. And then I come down here. This is going to set how the couture look is looking. So your face can have that chisel look so now when you do this you go back into your blush I'm gonna go back into the Morphe and I'm just gonna use a nice dark color and you just come up this is what's gonna make you look snatched when you put when as you see how it's coming in the dimensions and you look snatched when you put the When you put the powder there and you you kind of you kind of giving yourself um, a template to have that snatch beat look. That's how you have that snatch beat look. So once you put your powder on, you go back and you just go ahead and and that gives you that look. And I just like to go. To the forehead just one more time and now you're seeing that it's coming now i'm getting that color look how it was like one dimension and now there's like layers to my look now so you want to be real mindful of that so now we're going to we're going to brush it off use a clean brush again these are brushes is from amazon i gotta start an amazon store for y'all just so excited i'm putting i'm declaring and decreeing i'm putting out in the atmosphere that i'm gonna get a cover girl sponsor i want a cover girl first because when i was younger i used to walk and they used to be saying because my hair would be blowing as i'm walking and my friends used to sing easy breezy beautiful cover girl y'all remember that song i want a cover girl sponsorship so you just blend it in and you taking it off you're wiping it under the eye This is coming together real nice. I look beautiful. I gotta hurry up because I don't want this video too long because we still gotta give hair and then we gotta do the big reveal. Like, like, <laughs> you know when you start looking cute, you be like, like, what happened? What happened? You know, we love a beat face. Mm, yeah. I'm using Fenty Beauty. This is the color Cashew. So I just use this um, to bring it together for the little parts that I did. And I like to use a little brush for it. Um, not much. For those parts that I had um, scoped it out a little bit. Just to blend it. Because I don't want it to look too lighter on the other parts. I want it to all come together. So I put it here. And then I keep the light eye. I don't really go up there too much so it can have that look. Just a little blush. So I, from the blush, I always do like a smile and then I come from the cheeks and just come up and just work my way up. And just work your way up. And it just, you know, gives you, I like the blush look. It just gives you a little. And then I always put a little on my forehead and just you know play with it a little bit and just putting it up because makeup really it's like your face is a canvas it really does whatever you want it to do whatever you want it to do is what it's going to do just to give me because i like that nice um blushy look like i don't know sis is obsessed with blush a little bit okay so then go I want to go back a little bit with a little bit of the lashes 
you want to make sure that the little part and the longer part so the longer part of the lash should be on the outer part and the little part should be on the inside a lot of girls don't really pay attention to that sometimes you know the divas us baddies do but sometimes people don't I'm not gonna say that because sometimes people just don't know too so you want to make sure that the little part portion of the eyelashes is what's going in the corner of your eye and then the, the part that comes out that has that wing look that's the part that should be on the outer part on your eye that's what gives it that really beautiful look and then I just take my duo and I just put it right on the strip and um you just let it get sticky I use my hands personally for me it works better just using my hands um, than with a tweezer. Um, you know everyone is different but that's what I prefer and then you go back and you just take that makeup and you blend blending is key with makeup okay i'm sorry i said you take that makeup you take that blush that of uh, the sponge i can't talk the sponge and the beauty blender and you just blend okay that's what allows everything to come together then i take another one that kind of doesn't have anything on it and i just go like that to make everything come together You tie everything in and just look down. Now, the trick to lashes is you look down. I'm using fresh vitamin nectar to finish this off, guys. This is what I use. I shake it. This is what I use to set my face afterwards. I go crazy with it. This is what takes your makeup to like the next level. Flawless look. flawless so I'm using Morphe the brand is Morphe lipstick and the color is Morphe because remember we're doing a red lip I've been wanting to do a red look for y'all so bad so now we're gonna go to the hair so now when I do these Shirley Temple curls what I usually do hold on let me just come back a little bit there go. I take the side and I put a nice little amount out even side I'm telling you the blowout and I work out guys I work out with this blowout and it works I'm telling you the Spanish spots they know how to do a nice blowout and then I just brush everything to make it look you know nice and neat you make sure that the uh, hair that you're using and I don't have heat damage because I take care of my hair. So every once in a while, what I do is um, I always have a leave-in conditioner. The trick is you always have a leave-in conditioner. And I and then like once a month, I'll um, do a sit-under. So I have a deep conditioner. So I do a deep conditioner like once or twice a month. And then I always have a leave-in conditioner. That is the trick. You always want to have a leave-in conditioner. And it is just like blowing. When they be blowing that sucker out, I be like, yes, bam. Nice look. And then, where's my comb? I'm going to comb my straight temples. Now, I take the flat iron to do my curls. So, I just come up. I straighten it first. 
And then I start with the top part and just twist. Like a little curl that I want. And boom. Hey guys, so we're all done. I pray that you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Red lip, wing, and we had a nice little smoky eye going. I did step out of my comfort zone and I, you know, I never really do a smoky eye with a wing and a red look, I mean a red lip, but I love it. Everything just came together so nicely. And like I said, I'm not, you know, like a beauty expert, but I'm an expert in looking good. How about that? And I just wanted to bring you along with me to get ready to chit chat and just have a good time. And if you feel like you really enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.